Hi everyone, it's Joy. So I wanted to do at least get through some, Let's see how if I can get through all of this. The best of, well, it's not really fair because I've only been doing YouTube since I think June. So the best since June of 2013. So let's start with foundation. Actually, oh, I forgot a primer. Um, oh, well, we'll start with foundation. So uh, my best foundation has been the Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour. And this one I find has awesome, awesome, awesome coverage. So I really enjoyed this one. And this is on my list of trying to go through. And you can't tell how far, but I think I'm pretty far down there. So that's foundation. For a bronzer, it is the Chanel Soleil de Tan de Chanel. And this one I haven't... There's so much product in there. It's like I haven't even put a dent in that. So, but that is my favorite bronzer. I truly, truly do like that one a lot. For powder, I have a couple. This one I keep in my handbag. It's the Makeup Forever Professional Pro Finish, and I am in color 120. And I've hit pan in this one. So you can tell I like it. It's just a really good... Um, touch-up powder for me. I just keep it in my makeup bag and I touch up as I go along. So I really like that one. For blush, it has to be the Rocketeur. I There's so many blushes like the Chanel Accent and um, oh, and what am I using now? The Oh, and the I brought it out here too. The Rosy Glow by Dior. There's the Rosy Glow and or how do I open this? Oh yeah, the Rocketeur. And the Rocketeur, I've actually used up the, you know, enough to get the overlay off and stuff. So this one has actually been my favorite, you know, going on a few months. But the Rosy Glow from Dior, I really liked that one for a really long time. So those are two of my favorites. For another powder, what I have really liked is the NARS, the crystal, the translucent, and I know a lot of people have had a lot of trouble with this one, and I'm starting to hit pan on it. I haven't had any trouble with mine, and I don't know why that is, but a lot of people switched over to the loose one, and now they love it. So I guess if you didn't have trouble with the powder, you liked it, and if you did have trouble with it, you hated it, and if you switched to the loose, then you loved it. So that was seems to be the consensus for that one. For a highlighter, I really liked the Kevin Aquan Candlelight. And it's just a really nice, I have it on today, but it's, um, you know, it's just glossy. It's not, it looks like I have self tanning right there, but I don't. Oh, you know what I know what that is? <laughs> That's my Obaji, uh, which is my favorite skincare so far, because it's really changed my skin. My, the, I put the... Whatever's left over, I put it on my hands to try to change the structure, the skin cell structure of my hands. And one of them, she said, if you don't wash your hands after it, it'll turn them yellow. So that's what that is. That's, I think, the blender. Because <laughs> I put it on here. So my hands are not so yellow, but where I put it is yellow. So that's got to be what that is. I'm trying to get the age spots off on my hands. So when I show you guys swatches, I don't look like an, you know, an old hag lady. Anyway, um, brushes, I think my favorites this year are the Goss brushes. And I have the Holiday brush too, but that one is so new that I, that was probably not a good one to show. But I love these. I just, I love them. I was just going to pick a couple, but I use them all. My oldest daughter must be driving in. She's picking up Kristen and they're going to go use their gift certificates today. And so and that's probably what the dog is telling me. So for lipsticks, Tom Ford. And look, I'm almost done with this one. This one is called, what is this one? Indian Rose 04. And this is, oh my, I have it on today. This has just been a favorite, favorite of mine. I think it's, I put on a lip gloss and it looks like it's, I have issues with, there. That's a little better. Speaking of lip glosses, this one you can see it's almost gone. I'm like rolling it around in there. I think this is called pink sugar or something like that. It's so 
so small. I can't read it. But this is another Tom Ford. I got these two together. Love them. Love, 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 love them. Okay, for liner, eyeliner, I have been loving this Too Faced. I got this in one with one of my kits. And it's the Too Faced Perfect Waterproof Eyeliner. Mom. What? Yeah. Love you. Have fun. Um, sorry about that. This is the black, and it just stays in the waterline. It stays in the tight line. Love it. So if you see one of these in the black, it's really super creamy. I just love it. I would repurchase that one, even with all the black eyeliners I have. Okay, for shadow, um, you know what I really, really liked above almost everything? I mean, palettes, they're all, most of my palettes are pretty new, so I love all my palettes. But if I were to pick one thing, it would be the color tattoos, even over the paint pots, because they're so much cheaper. But um, my favorite paint pots are the two pinkish ones, and it is the Inked in Pink and Pomegranate punk the, oh, my legs are falling asleep those are literally my two favorites and then my daughter hunted down all three of the mats that they came out with for you know the limited ah, the limited the limited edition matte colors she got them all for me for christmas and i have been using this one non-stop nude pink i love it it's just like a matte paint pot except for you know way cheaper Love it, love it, love it. Have it on today with um, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Love the Chocolate Bar palette. I think it's my new favorite. I wanted to use a different palette today, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't drag myself away from the... So if I were to pick a palette, it's too new, but um, it would be the Chocolate Bar palette. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, but those are my favorites. I got through them all. Yay. For now, I didn't get into like all the details of all the different favorites, but um, like primers and stuff like that. Lip liners. I don't know that I have a favorite lip liner. I just grab one out every time I use one. But I hope that you like that, those, that, 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 those. I hope that those were good picks in your mind. And if you have any questions or want to see a review on any of the items that I listed, that I mentioned, let me know, and I'd be happy to do that for you. And let me know what your favorites are, and if you've done a video, let me know so I can make sure to watch it, because those are really, really fun. I love when people pick things that maybe I haven't seen or I haven't heard of. So I hope you're having a great day, and have a happy new year, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.